Hey, what's going on everyone? We're gonna talk about whether or not uh, less calories equals weight loss. So you see it everywhere, just eat less calories, eat less calories, eat less calories, you're gonna lose weight. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about losing fat and kind of what happens to your body um, once you do drop those calories. Now, truth be told, yes, lower calories does equal weight loss, but there's a couple things you wanna be careful of. Number one, if you are a chronic dieter or if you cut your calories out a lot, you usually end up having issues, okay? So we're looking at, hey, I'm having a hard time sleeping, I'm constantly hungry, I feel very fatigued, I'm not as strong. There's all these things that are kind of symptoms of being way too much into a calorie deficit. We'll explain kind of what happens to your body or hormones when that happens. Um, as well as, usually we see people be chronic dieters and then be chronic exercisers. So now we have an increase of energy expenditure and a large decrease in the amount of energy we're consuming. All right, so something to kind of look out and be careful with is that if you really cut those calories down dramatically, especially quickly while exercising a lot, which most cross CrossFitters are addicted to working out too much, okay, we want to recover a little bit more. Usually what happens is now you're on a roller coaster with your blood sugar and your insulin. And what I mean is if you drop those calories a lot, usually you have low blood sugar and then you have these cravings, so you eat a bunch of sugar or sugary things, post-workout, whatever happens to be, and now we have that roller coaster and that's very dangerous for you. The second side of this is if at, if at night, if you don't have enough sugar in your body, your body has to produce that sugar during the night. Those glycogen stores are gone. And part of that is actually your adrenal glands start working and those adrenal glands start pumping so much that you end up waking up in the middle of the night or just having a hard time sleeping, which then leads to just being more stressed, being catabolic, which usually messes up body composition and weight loss as well, as well as can eat away at muscles. All right, so we want to be really careful with this. Now, how do you figure out how many calories you should be eating? what's too little, what's too much. That's a little bit of a tricky question just because a lot of the old formulas don't take into consideration being athletic and having muscle. So you really want to go to someone that knows what they're talking about, whether that's a macros person, a dietitian, or a nutritionist. So another sign to look at besides the fatigue, besides not feeling necessarily hungry all the time, um, or it's also kind of being irritated easily, uh, believe it or not, how's your bathroom activities looking? So it sounds kind of funny, but if you're bowel movements are not, not consistent. Hey, one day it's like, hey, I got diarrhea. The next day I can't go to the bathroom. That's a sign of being too low calorie wise as well. As well as you can look at your skin. If your skin's flaky, your hair's really dry. That's usually a sign that you've cut calories down so much, especially fats, that you have issues. So do less calories equal weight loss? Yes, but you wanna be careful. Too much of something can lead to detrimental effects, specific, specifically into putting your body into kind of a fight or flight mode where it's holding on to everything and telling you not to spend energy and just go out and consume food. And we don't want that. We want to get enough food that, hey, you feel good exercising, you're not exercising too much, but that weight loss is still coming off. All right, hope this helps. Love to hear some of your stories about weight loss and cutting calories, what you've learned, mistakes you've made. I know I've made them too. Talk to you soon.